Every child follows a path in life. For many, that path will lead them to a door, a door that gives them a place to grow, to learn, to belong, a place to forge their future. Because while many doors open, these doors transform. They did for us. Support your local boys and girls clubs. Great futures start here. We moved to Tucson in the spring of 1998. At that point, um, I was getting away from a very abusive relationship. The person that I was engaged to be married uh, started using drugs and alcohol, and uh, he became very physically abusive. I was pregnant, and, um, and me and my son, my, my nine-year-old son, was with me and uh, we moved to this area because there used to be a shelter. And moving from California where it's beaches and you know it's just it's a totally different environment. I didn't know anything about Tucson. I didn't know anything about what it was going to be like or anything like that. I knew we were in a bad spot and I knew that you know we were doing it because we had to not because we wanted to. We lost everything we had. We lost our house, we lost our furniture, we lost our clothes. We were left pretty much on the street with just one suitcase of clothes. And that was very difficult for him. And uh, I know as difficult it was for me, it was probably more difficult for him because he was a little boy, you know, and all of a sudden to be taken away from everything, you know, and realize that you no longer have a house or, or anything, you know, and, and you have to be moving from one place to another it was difficult for him so since we moved here he didn't know anyone in town he didn't have any friends and being at the shelter was not a really good situation because the people at the shelter were kind of mean towards him we didn't have a place to go home it was a shared room with somebody else that was in the same situation it was a shared fridge where you didn't have a lot of space to put your own stuff, you know, everybody shared it, so, I mean, you'd, you'd hope for your own little corner on it, and that was it, and, you know, and if somebody took your food or if somebody did something, like, you deal with it, you know? TV was shared, everything was just shared, it, was, it wasn't a home, it was a place where you stayed. For him, it was very difficult to come home straight from school and spend all day there, you know, being subject to abuse and being subject to taunting and, and things like that. He told me, that there was this place that he wanted to, to go to and I didn't know anything about the Boys and Girls Club, never heard of them, you know, and so I wasn't familiar, so I told him I would check it out. I came and they took me around and they showed me everything. So I signed him up and he was always so happy to tell me about everything that he did during the day. And then he started showing me that he was learning to do different arts and crafts and and he was making a lot of friends. He was so happy and, and I, was, I was really grateful that, that he could have a place, you know, where he could get away from all the stress that we were dealing with. Well, the club, you know, it was somewhere, it was somewhere that was fun to be at. It was somewhere that gave me something to do. Um, I love, when I was going to it, I loved going to the Steve Drew Boys and Girls Club. I loved it. It, it gave me somewhere to, to be besides at the shelter. It's, it's a place that I, I enjoyed being more than anywhere else at the time. And I, you know what I mean, I, I knew a lot of people here. Paul has always been somebody that I, was, that I felt comfortable with, like hanging out with when I was younger, you know, and, and he helped me out with, with doing a lot of things craft-wise. He gave me something to focus on. Um, whether it was wallets or making a purse or, you know, it was always the next big leather project, which was cool. Because, um, I mean, you start off small and you go to something bigger and once you're done with that, you feel like you really accomplished something. Um, they, I mean, they were just always there and it was always somewhere safe that I could be at that I knew, like, you know, my mom didn't have to worry about me, you know, being out somewhere at random. So she was okay with letting me be there, you know, and, and because of that, like, I got to spend more time, like, doing fun things, you know, instead of, like, if I was out in the streets doing, you know, what God knows what. When Thanksgiving arrived, the club, very generously, they gave us a turkey with all the trimmings and everything so we could have our first Thanksgiving dinner here. And I was just so touched by it and it was just so amazing, you know, that, that they were so kind to us. And then on Christmas time, 
they they gave us our Christmas tree, our own Christmas tree, and and we set it up in the little place that we had found, and and, and you know it just it just made Christmas so special that year. I'm taking classes at Prima Community College to become a graphic designer. I, um, I met a wonderful man, I'm married. My daughter, she's 13 and she's in middle school. Once in a while she still comes over here even though you know most of her friends are gone. She still comes over here and enjoys time being here. My youngest son is 10 years old. He always tells me about everything that has been going on at the club. So. He really loves it over here and, and I don't know, I think he's competing with Brian about the amount of time that each spent over here. I think he's trying to be the one that's spending the most time because he spends pretty much every day here. And um, if we try to come and pick him up earlier, he's like, no, 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 can you come back and pick me up later? So he always wants to spend a lot more time here than even at home. My oldest son, Brian, right now, he is 23 and he works for the city of Tucson. He has a great job that he loves. I'm happy where I'm at. There's, of course, there's always something that I'm going to strive for, you know, but in a sense of, like, when I see other people that I went to school with, when I see, you know, when I come across, when I talk to people that, you know, I haven't talked to in a while, oftentimes I'm, I'm better off. I think that it, it has really made a huge difference in our lives. Being here, made me realize that there's better out there. There's a doorway out. There's something that I can do to get out and be better. And, you know, not get stuck in. Because I mean, I was going through hard time, you know? Like I knew what the hard, what the bad was already. I don't want any more of that. So like, it gave me a place to focus on the good.